Hi guys, welcome back to Langsian. My name is Praise. If you are new, I am delighted to have you. If you are old, welcome back. So this month, we are going to be talking about another Bible verse and kind of squeezing out the juices from there and seeing what it says. We're going to be talking about a really popular Bible verse and it is from Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. And as you know, we're going to be reading it in multiple translations. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So we're going to kind of break it down and see like, what does this Bible verse really mean? According to CV version, it says, with all your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment. Always let him lead you and he will clear the road for you to follow. Um, so basically trusting the Lord, according to CEV version, is that you must use every single aspect of your heart. So not like you trust him on some things, you don't trust him on some things. With all of your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment. It says with all of your heart. So trusting God requires all of your heart. And I feel like this reiteration is made because we're always so quick. Like we're like, yeah, I trust God. But most of us know that when we trust God, we have a plan B. Meaning when God fails, not if, but when. Like you already know that like, oh, like if this my trust thing with God doesn't work out, at least I know like I, I got myself, like I have a plan B. Um, and this Bible verse is challenging you to trust God without a plan B. Trust God with the training wheels off. Like take your support of God's plan off and just foolishly blindly trust, which is very scary for a lot of us. According to this Bible verse, it tells us that the alternative to trusting God is human logic, also known as common sense, like, which a lot of us use. Like, we're like, oh yeah, like God gave us common sense. We should be able to use that, which is great. And I agree. But if you are pretty much the one running your entire life without God's input in it, then who is God in your life? Forget so yeah, we want to make sure that like in our decisions, we are trusting God totally. Um, and if you read this Bible verse, you'll see that there are lots of absolutes being used. For example, always let him lead. It says trust with all of your hearts, meaning there's no room for adventure. That's my to say. <laughs> there's no room for doing doubting. There's no room for like, or oh, maybe a little bit of trust here, a little bit of doubt here. It's like all trust. Like there's absolutes because it's almost a command. Like trust God with all of your hearts and don't need your own understanding. The next part of this Bible verse that's really major is lean not on your own understanding. And why should we care? Why should we not lean on our own understanding? Because what we know is so much smaller compared to what we don't know. Like about anything in life. Think about it like let's say think about i'm gonna use myself for example what i what i can see now of my life i had no idea <laughs> my life was gonna go the way it's going but like four years ago i would want to make a decision that's like oh yeah like this is the best decision for me says who based on what based on the circumstances around my life at that time but for example no one knew that covid was going to come which changed everybody's lives and like if we were making decisions based on the things that were going on in our lives previously, when things like COVID came around, then your whole life is gonna fall to shambles because it's not gonna follow your plan. However, when you follow God's plan and you don't need on your own understanding, he literally has every possible permutation of how your life can turn out. Meaning, heads or tails, you know. Meaning, is <laughs> a direct link to all things work together. The good, the bad, and the ugly there is no single thing even the mistakes there's no single thing in your life that happens that god does not work together for your good which is another reason why you should trust him and lean not on your own understanding according to proverbs 3 in the free bible version it says put your trust totally in the lord don't rely on what you think you know because what you think you know is so much smaller compared to what you don't know. The next like big phrase that I saw was, in all your ways, acknowledge him. So what does it really mean to acknowledge God? So acknowledge God, I kind of try to look at like how the different verses like phrase this acknowledgement. In message version, it says, listen for God's voice in everything you do and everywhere you go. So acknowledging God is listening for his voice in everything you do and everywhere you go. TPT says acknowledging God means becoming intimate with him in everything you do. Meaning there's nothing you should be doing that God isn't a part of. 
keep in mind that includes the bad things so yeah he sees nlt says seek his will in everything you do meaning don't take any decision without asking god because why you were trying to trust him and because he's in charge of your life this acknowledgement is a knowing it is a remembering that god is not a genie he's not just at the back of your life and like you inform him of things that are going on he rules your life if you really submit he's supposed to be your lord and personal savior a lord rules so you don't inform your lord he's not like your secretary he is the lord he is the one that's supposed to be reigning supreme over your life which is what it means to know acknowledge and remember acknowledging god is simple in prayer it's just basically asking him questions about decisions that you're trying to make it's nothing dramatic it's nothing scripted it is letting god know even when you can't hear because let's be honest sometimes we don't hear clearly go this way or go the other way acknowledging god means hey god i'm asking for your input not quite hearing you i don't want to go the wrong way please help me to be in your will god is not a wicked god and he will not see you going the wrong way and push you down that path or like just allow you to continue to go down that path so acknowledging god means god this is what i'm trying to do should i that's one yes no is what he might tell you or wait or you might not hear if you don't hear you keep bringing god into the situation you keep bringing him into the situation because he's part of your decision that's what it means to acknowledge god in all your ways not some but all of your ways one of my favorite things about proverbs is that like there is usually a condition and then a promise and we all love the promises but the promises are dependent on the condition so the condition is what trust god with all of your heart don't lean on your own understanding acknowledge him in all your ways and if you keep those three parts the promise is that he will direct your path again let's kind of take like a quick dive into what the other translations uh explain him directing your path to be so in amplified ah oh, i love this in amplified it says he will remove obstacles that block your way if you trust god if you lean on him and not your own judgment if you acknowledge him he will remove obstacles that block your way he will keep you on track that's message he will show you the right way to go i think that's nlt and CEV says he will clear the road for you to follow. So can you imagine that? Like imagine you're walking on the road, far off, you can see like there's an obstacle. You're like, okay, God, like, please, I need you to help me get through this path. And then you keep walking, trusting, right? Trusting is like, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look clear. It doesn't look like an easy path, but you're still walking, taking little steps with God. And as you're getting closer, you're seeing like, oh, the obstacle I saw there, there's still an obstacle behind me, meaning I already passed it because God moved it out of your way or moved you out of the obstacles way keeping you on that same track you're still going you're still going you're still walking God God will show you the right way and God will clear the road for you to follow behind him or beside him because you were walking with him so once again Proverbs 3 5 to 6 or 7 as you desire it's just teaching us that like trusting God is easier said than done especially when like we're in a time crunch or it's like a really important decision or like it's a it's a decision that is not particularly pleasant or favorable or what we desired trusting god means god i don't understand what this is looking like i don't understand what's happening here but i trust you because you cause all things to work together for my good i trust you because you have my best interests at heart i trust you because you're not a wicked god i will not ask you for fish and you give me a snake i will not ask you for bread and you give me stone you're not a wicked god you're a good father and you know the plans you have for me they are plans of good and not of evil to bring me to an expected end so when you remember all the promises of god you shout hallelujah shout out to Peter, but when you remember the promises of god you will be reminded that trusting god is not a gamble if anything is the sure bet to having the highest life that you could ever have the best permutation of your life is the one that you allow god to lead you to Alrighty, guys i hope this was insightful and i hope you learned something new from proverbs 3 5 to 6 like i did um i will see you guys next month in the next video watch out if you have not subscribed please subscribe guys i need you to subscribe please so that other people can see the videos like comment share and repost thank you so much i will see you later Bye.